In this video, we take a look at exception handling. Programs you write should not crash because of external factors, such as missing files, bad input data, conversion issues, or division by zero. As a programmer, you should try to anticipate possible errors and write code to deal with them gracefully. This is known as exception handling and is part of a wider skill set known as robust programming. So how do you go about writing code that can anticipate and handle issues that may or may not occur when running your programs? Here we have a program written in both Python and Visual Basic. Both programs ask the user to enter two numbers and store them in the variables num1 and num2. Then outputs the results of dividing num1 by num2 to the user. The first two times we run the program, it works fine. We're supplying valid numbers. And because we're storing the variables as floats or decimals, we can handle fractional components. The program seems to be working fine. Now, we would hope and expect users to run this program and supply two valid numbers when asked. However, we can't rely on that. So in our first example here, the user now supplies zero as their second input number. This causes the program to crash when attempting to perform the division as the program cannot divide by zero. Next, the user supplies B, the character B as their second number. This causes the program to crash when attempting to store the input in the variable num2 as it can't convert it to a float automatically. With exception handling, we can enclose code that might cause an exception within a try clause. If the code within the try clause throws an exception or an error when the program is run, it will jump to the catch or accept section and run the code there instead of crashing. This allows you as the programmer to handle errors in a graceful way, often supplying useful information to the user. Although the syntax for exception handling varies by language, they look very similar. And we've got examples here from VB, Python, C Sharp, and Java. So let's just look at a Visual Basic example. We've got the same program here, but now we're encapsulating the initial code that asks the user to enter numbers in a try section. If this time they tried entering a letter or a character, it would throw an error that would be caught. And instead of crashing, they would receive the output invalid entry, please supply a number. You could further encapsulate this code and cause it to loop back, forcing them to keep entering numbers until they get it right. We then have the line which actually performs the division under another try. So it tries that line. If it gets an error, it catches it and instead outputs to the user unable to perform division. We're now catching and handling these errors and providing a better experience to the users. So when we supply the program with the valid data, it performs exactly as it did originally. No problem there. However, when we supply invalid data, the program no longer crashes. Instead, the exceptions are caught and we provide helpful output to the user by running our code under the catch section. Having watched this video, you should be able to answer the following key questions. What is exception handling? And why is it a good idea to use exception handling when writing a program? Thank you.